Joining us now to discuss your commute tomorrow is transportation specialist Katie Thompson. Katie, good morning. Good morning, guys. Good to be with you. Good morning. So first and foremost, this is going to have a major impact on people, whether they take the T or they don't take the T. But what are the areas that you see as being the absolute busiest? Yeah, well, I think tomorrow it's really important to remember that this is the first real big test during the weekday morning commute. And you have 100,000 people utilizing the Orange Line every day. A lot of those are going to be moving to buses, those shuttle buses, 200 of them crowding those streets, especially the northern portion of the Orange Line, the Fells Way. A lot of the stops run along that. So I think probably you're going to see routes 1, 1A, route 16, 28, the Fells Way, definitely back up early on in the morning commute. Then remember a lot of that traffic is going to push on to Interstate 93. So coming down through Sullivan Square, approaching the Zacum Bridge, that's where we're going to watch for those congestion points, especially between the hours of, I would say, 6 and 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You mentioned the buses around the city to accommodate for the train shutdown. Are there impacts uh, on road restrictions right now? Yeah, well, Mayor Michelle Wu announced last week that Boston is really going to be taking these dedicated bus lanes seriously, especially to allow those shuttle buses to move uh, through the city of Boston as, as efficiently as they can. So they are going to be ticketing for parking in the bus lanes and driving in the bus lanes in cars. And there are a couple of roads that are closed to allow for that shuttle bus traffic. State Street between Congress and Washington Streets. You're going to see that close to general traffic as well as Dartmouth Street between St. James and Boylston Streets and the northbound portion of Washington Street between Arbor Way and Williams Street. They're also warning in areas like Jamaica Plain where the buses don't normally, there's not a lot of heavy bus traffic. You're going to see those shuttle buses moving through those areas. So just be aware of those 200 shuttle buses moving through the Boston area. Yeah, good details there for drivers, commuters, and even bikers. What's the one thing you'd say everybody needs to know as the commute ramps up in the morning? Well, I think just plan ahead. We've got a full guide on WCVB.com and inside of our mobile app that allows you to plan for your trip. We've got a station by station search engine so you can type in the station you normally travel from and see your alternate options for the next 30 days. Give yourself plenty of extra time if you're headed out on the roads and just be patient. We're going to figure this out, see how it goes the first couple of days, and then I'm sure the kinks will be worked out. Before we let you go, is there anything else you wanted to mention? No, I mean, starting tomorrow morning at 4 a.m., the Eye Opener team, we're going to be tracking all angles of this. I'll be up in Sky 5 watching for those congestion points. Um, we're going to have people on the ground at the stations, on the shuttle buses. So every angle we've got you covered starting at 4 a.m. Okay. Katie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day.